Hello everyone, welcome back to another lesson from AI Webix. Today's topic is one of the most important and practical inbuilt data structures in Python. We will learn how Python lets us store and manage collections of data using four powerful built in tools list, tuple, set, and dictionary. Let's understand each one with simple code and real world examples. So we'll start with list first. So we'll back to our uh, our VS code and we'll write some code also some examples also to understand more. So let's move to our code editor. So we'll first start with list. What is list? A list is like a shopping basket. You can add, you can remove and you can update items. It remembers the order and can be changed anytime. So suppose in a shopping basket, you are first adding rice, then you are adding a biscuit, then you are adding a chocolate. So you, you are adding it in an order. You can add any item also, you can remove any item also, you can update any item also, right? So it remembers the order, but you can change the order also anytime. This is just like a shopping basket, you think. In Python, lists are defined using a square brackets in python lists are defined using a square brackets so a list is an ordered collection of items in python lists are lists are mutable which we discussed like we can add remove and update items meaning they can be modified after creation we can change the order also so now um, we'll see some example we'll create a list of fruits Print the original list. Now we'll add one item. We'll add an item to the list. So to add the item, we use to add an item. We use append function. What we use append function. So here we have to pass a item to add in, in, in our list. So we'll add mango. It will print now after appending. How can we access any item from a list? We can act like we can access using the index with the help of index. So We'll see how can we access any item from a list. First fruit in the list. Zero. Because Python indexing start with zero. So this apple is at zero index. Banana is at first index cherry is at second index so to access the first item in the list we'll use the zeroth index so now we'll run it if you see here our original list is the same list which we created apple banana and cherry after appending the other item mango it added the mango in the last of the list that is apple banana cherry and mango and then we are accessing the list with the help of index so first fruit in the list is apple we can access the uh, third we can access the third item also that is mango with the help of third index because this is at fourth position but here the index is three so we are accessing the mango with the help of third index of the list we can create list quickly using something called list comprehension so we'll show you how can we create a list with the help of list comprehension show you some list comprehension so um so what we can do here so we'll suppose we'll create one square a number a squares list x star 2 for x in range 
वन टू सिक्स प्रिंट इट स्क्वायर लिस्ट यूजिंग will run it so if you'll see what it did is it take it took one item from the range from the range list so in the range we are creating a range of list from 1 2 3 4 5 right it, it the range function not include the last one so it's taking the item from 1 2 3 4 5 so for each item in this range for each item in this range list 1 2 3 4 5 it's creating a square of it so we are creating one more list with the help of range and it generated one more, one more list of a squares of all these numbers so this is what list comprehension so re in real world suppose a data scientist a data scientist might store a list of prediction or scores or a, or a teacher might store marks of a students so this is what list is we'll see some other methods of list also so we already saw how to use the append method to add any item and we saw how to access any item from a list now we'll see some other methods also some other popular list methods also popular list methods so first we will see insert 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 an item x at ith index so what it will do i'll show you fruits dot fruits dot insert so it will add any item x at ith position or ith index so what it will do ith position so what it will do here we have we have four item in our, in our fruits right suppose at the third position we want to insert uh, any item grabs So I will print the output. So after inserting, if you will see, yeah. So this three is not the index. It's a uh, this three is not position. It's index. So what it what it will do insert method. It will insert an item x or whatever in the second parameter it will insert that item at ith index it will insert it will insert an item item x at ith index so it is inserting the item grapes at third index so what is the third index here if you will see he see it what is the third index here zero first second third so third index is mango so what it will do it will insert the item at fourth position or third index and move the mango to the next position so what is doing here so you can see i how the insert is working now we'll see the other method that is remove so what it will do it will remove the first x or it will remove the first item from first whenever it matches so suppose there are two item with the same na name in the list there are two item with the same name in the list it will remove the first item or if it is only one item it will remove that item from the list we'll show how it will work fruit start we want to remove we want to remove banana we'll run it If you will see it removed the banana it removed the banana it is important if you know the item name or what what's the item then it's useful to remove then we use remove uh, method to remove any item from the list then we have pop also pop method we have pop so what pop do pop basically remove the last last item from the list so in this case for fruits it will remove the last item if you see here it's the index is minus one minus one index means uh 
the minus one index minus one index means the last position if you i'll show you here to how to access the last item from this list so after updating the mango is the last item right so to access the mango we can use minus one index also here we are removing the last item using the pop method will not print it after pop oops if you see after pop the last after pop it removed the last item mango and now we have only three items that is apple cherry and grabs also like here here also we are removing the banana so it removed the banana and then it removed the last item that is mango if you'll see here first sorry last fruit we are checking the last fruit in the list that is mango here after appending the mango we have the last uh, after appending the mango the last item in this list is the mango so so to print the last item in the list we use the negative index that is minus one so here the so last fruit in the list is mango so hope you uh, got how to access the last item and also what is the pop method um, how to uh, remove the last item from the list